Hello, I'm IBX Tweaker, and welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to talk about the secret spooky exclusive feature found in Minecraft Console Edition. And because it wasn't added in this last update, it was added in a couple of ones before that. It's one you can actually find across all Minecraft Console Editions, including the Xbox One, but also the PlayStation 4, PS3, etc. You can find a brand new exclusive feature to do with pumpkins. It's really cool, it's really great, and it's a tiny thing, but it's pretty useful. As well as that, though, there's a brand new feature exclusively for the Halloween period. And there's also a secret feature you'll find only on Halloween itself. They never announce it, but it's a cool. Halloween thing, and I figured I'd let you know early, so if you play Minecraft on Halloween, you get a little bit of a surprise. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video, you can like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like this little bit of a spooky video. Again, the video itself isn't spooky, but it's about spooky things. Does that make it spooky? I don't know for certain, but liking it is the best way to let me know. So with that said, let's get straight into the very first thing, uh, the uh, you know the big thing that is spooky and exclusive, because it is to do with pumpkins. And again, this seems really small, and if you've never tried to build pumpkins before, you're going to look at this and you're going to say, Toy Cat, what are you, why is this even a big deal? But if you've ever tried to build pumpkins before, you'll know they're actually a nightmare to build with because pumpkins used to have the effect of only being able to be placed on solid ground. So if you want to place a pumpkin, you had to place it on a block which already existed on the ground and this is how it works on every other edition of the game. It works on the Java edition this way, it works on the Bedrock edition, it works on the brand new Xbox edition. However, on the uh, Minecraft console edition, at some point recently, where it was T57 or 56, I'm not certain, but at some point between last year and this year, they changed the pumpkins so that instead of placing them, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, just only on top of previous blocks, you can also place them in midair like this. So this might not seem like a big deal, but now it means if you want to place, make, make say, a box, so if we want to take this and make a pumpkin house, you know, it's spooky, it's Halloween, let's make a spooky house. Now we can do that really easily because instead of having to do this, what you had to do before is grab like some blocks and place uh, pumpkins on top of it. Now you can just place pumpkins next to pumpkins like this. And I think that is a really great feature. It's one that honestly makes sense because the pumpkin rule seems, you know, really ridiculous. There aren't many blocks that have this rule. Pumpkins were pretty much the only one. And the idea of like pumpkins even needing to be that way didn't make sense sense, and people didn't like it, and they fixed it on the console edition of the game exclusively. So yeah, that's an exclusive. It also applies to the jack-o'-lantern, by the way, so we can have a lit-up ceiling too. Uh, the jack-o'-lanterns, even if they're facing each other, the light still goes back down below it, which I don't understand, but it does work. So if you want to make a jack-o'-lantern house for Halloween, guess what? You can do that. It's a tiny thing, but it's worth knowing about. The other thing that, uh, again, you've probably experienced if you've updated your Minecraft, but maybe you don't play Tumble, maybe you don't care about Tumble, you've only played Battle, or you just only play Survival, but if you do to play, uh, decide to play Tumble, I'd recommend doing it in the next two weeks because they added a brand new tumble arena and tumble layers. So yeah, these tumble layers are pretty interesting. Like, oh yeah, they're new tumble layers, but they added a whole bunch of them. Like there's, you know, it's gonna be dozens of tumble layers just for this update, which I really like personally, the fact that there's, you know, they put all this work into something that's only gonna be available for the next week and a half, I believe. Uh, it's only gonna be available till just after Halloween. So if you wanna play some exclusive, uh, you know, tumble, which you won't ever be able to play again, because it's also in the Halloween, uh, you know, mashup pack, uh, texture pack, then yeah, you can do that by uh, playing tumble at some point in the next week or two. So yeah, I think that's exciting personally, and I'm sure a lot of you do agree, but there's also one more Halloween exclusive feature. So this is one that I've made a video on last year, and I figure, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do it again this year because it's a big deal, but like, maybe it's not a big enough deal that like, let's do it every single year. But a fun little fact is that on Halloween, Minecraft actually changes. So it only changes for Halloween, the 31st of October, and if you have an offline console, you can set your console date to be the 31st of October, and you can live this year round. But basically, if you uh, do that, then you'll be able to see mobs with pumpkins on their head. So yeah, everything in this video comes right back around to pumpkins. Uh, you know, you get pumpkin layers and tumble, you get pumpkins on the side of blocks, and you also get pumpkins on mobs for 31st of October only. So there is a chance they drop this. It's a lower chance than normal, like 2.5%. But basically you can get pumpkins by killing mobs on Halloween only, and it means they are also immune to the daylight, so they're a lot harder to kill. I really like it personally. It's a tiny thing, but it means that Halloween feels spookier, and not all mobs have pumpkins, uh, just the skeletal mobs. Uh, mobs that can wear armor will wear pumpkins, and and uh, also they'll survive the daylight and also they've only got a chance of doing it but it's just one of these wonderful things that's just like ooh Minecraft's all spooky today and I like that they did that it's one of the only two or three seasonal events they do and I like that Minecraft itself does change and I wanted to share that with you in today's video so yeah there's free spooky exclusives uh, you can play around with this year uh, the, the by the way the uh, the pumpkin head thing is also available on Java the um, the tumble map is only available for console and these placing pumpkins on the side of things is only available for console and might be an accident I'm not entirely certain there's a chance they fix this at some point, but it'd have to be the next update. So yeah, as far as like, well, should you be excited? Are you excited? Um, yeah, you've got a feature that exists either as a secret feature by accident, which I imagine so, but it could be a little broken feature. So you get a little bit of a Halloween exclusive there too. So yeah, and also bear in mind that last one, uh, both these, all these features besides the Tumble Arena are available on the Xbox One too. So that's kind of cool. You might be bummed out that like, oh, no more updates. I know a lot of people have been based on ratings and stuff, but good news, uh, you can still 
place pumpkins on the side of blocks to make your life a lot easier. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Make sure you check out my live stream. It's going to be at 7 p.m. tonight, so that's going to be just a couple of hours after this video is uploaded. Uh, please do check it out because uh, yeah, we're playing another. We're playing tumble with all the silly settings. Earlier we had so much fun playing the battle, and we'll be doing the same for tumble. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you there in a little bit. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.